Well, here's a type of video I typically don't do. I'm actually going to share my thoughts on something going on in the news media. So I've been hearing a lot about this opening ceremony in the Olympics. And hearing some information versus doing some research, I have vastly different opinions. So this is going to be kind of a longer video, and it's going to be kind of all over the place. So you might think I'm going down one path, but then I'm going to veer off and go down a different path. So let me start by prefacing this with a couple things that I think should be pretty obvious at this point. I'm not a Christian. However, I don't think any spirituality or religion should be bashed, made fun of, or picked on in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, I have a lot of respect for many Christians because most people I know are Christian and are in fact good people. I would argue that the vast majority of Christians are good people. There's going to be some fanatics in any religious movement, in any religious group or spirituality, you're going to have your fanatics. With that in mind, when I first heard about the Olympics opening ceremony, I got kind of mad. I was like, are you kidding me? They're actually going to mock and make fun of Christianity in the Last Supper? Like, this is ridiculous and unacceptable. Even as someone who's not a Christian, that is unacceptable to do. You should not be mocking or targeting anyone. So I was originally going to make this video around the fact that they should be ashamed of themselves, just like most people are doing. Then I did a little bit of research, and now I'm taking a few steps back. So this video, I'm going to uh, dive down into what I consider to be narcissistic victim victim mentality that a lot of people are doing and a lot of clickbait that people are creating and sharing false information. And then I'm also going to delve down my opinion, which may not be very popular when it comes to stuff like the opening ceremony and what it all involved. Uh, but, you know, this is the Internet and everybody's got an opinion and they want to share it. So if you want to listen, cool, stick around, share your thoughts below. And if you don't want to listen, you know, close the video, move on. No big deal. I, I don't really watch the Olympics. I will catch the occasional replay on YouTube when I try to watch the Olympics at all. I'm just not really a big fan. I don't have any problem with the Olympics. I have great respect for athletes. I just don't find them interesting. And I didn't get to see the opening ceremony because apparently it's already been pulled down. So I started looking up videos and clips. And like I said, at first I was like, oh, you, you got to be kidding me. And then I realized that these people who were saying that they're making fun of and mocking the Last Supper are not only wrong, but this made me start with that phrase, narcissistic victim mentality. Like, how are you going to twist this? So let's take a look at some of the imagery and let's take a look at the painting that they're saying the imagery came from. So cool little fade effect. All right. So this, if you're not aware, this is Leonardo da Vinci's depiction of the Last Supper. This is basically in Christian mythology. This is basically uh, when Jesus is meeting with all of his disciples and he's basically having a Last Supper and Basically, he knows he's going to be betrayed and crucified and his, it, like before he's crucified, before his life's coming to an end. So he's having this Last Supper with his disciples. So this is a very important painting to a lot of Christians. I get that. No reason to make fun of it. No reason to mock it. Leave it alone. There's 12 apostles here. You know, you, you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have Jesus. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 13 counting Jesus in the middle. There's 12 people here. It is indoors. It is at a table. They're having food. They're talking. There has been arguments. Uh, one of these is supposedly, potentially, a woman might have been Mary Magdalene, something like that. I believe they're all supposed to be men. Honestly, none of that really matters to me. Let's go to what we saw at the Olympics. So, I actually cut out one of the individuals here because on the far, far, far side over here, there is a gentleman who has his testicles, he has his balls actually hanging out of his outfit, and it's in front of children. We're going to get into my opinion of that in a second, but I want to first compare this to the Last Supper painting. The first thing to point out, this isn't a table, it is a runway. If I caught different pieces and clips that they were able to keep online, there are people who are dancing, mostly, I guess, drag queens, dancing down this long runway, and there are additional drag queens standing on each side of the runway. This is not a table at all. And it's outside. It's not inside of a building. This doesn't look like 12 apostles. In fact, if the zoomed out picture, there are 17 in total. Go look it up online. I don't really want to share the guy's private parts actually fully hanging out on my video. But yeah, there's 17 people here versus 12. There's men and women. And it's outdoors and it's on a runway. To try to take this and say this is the Last Supper, 
this is the narcissistic part. It's all about me. I'm the victim, victim mentality thing here. Even in this picture, uh, someone was saying something about the, the crown of this drag queen in the middle here having this big crown is supposed to be like the halo. It's a freaking crown. It's a circle with stars coming off of it. That's kind of a little far-fetched and pushing it. I don't see that in this imagery. Now, I'm only going to show one other painting because I don't want to go down this loop because we're going to get into the part where why I'm saying this has nothing to do with The Last Supper. There is this other painting people supposedly claimed. Look, another situation at a table, people eating, and it does look like there's a little bit of a glow circle going on around this person's head in the middle. This is not Christianity. This is apparently the Feast of the Gods. Uh, you have these satyr, which are like half goat, half men, people dancing around, which aren't wearing much of anything. You've got some people scantily clothed. You do have some men and women here, children, a whole bunch of different people around a table. Again, not saying that this is what it was inspired, but this was an example I saw from people saying this is an example of other paintings that include this type of theme. But again, this general picture here and, and there are stuff on here. I want you, I'm going to put this link below so you can actually listen and read the whole thing yourself. This imagery to me of a runway outside is not the Last Supper. So to to make that jump to me is just clickbait. This is the individual, as far as I understand it, in France in Paris, who specifically said he's the one who organized and created this opening ceremony. That's the other thing too, right? The the ceremony itself has drag queens going down a runway. And then they have this image and this big plate comes down and opens up. And that guy painted in blue apparently is supposed to represent Dionysus, uh, a god dealing with like wine and, you know, adult activity type stuff. And again, singing and dancing and stuff. I, I don't think that happened to the Last Supper, did it? I, I don't I don't think the Last Supper painting has a person on a plate. I don't think there's any dancing and singing going on. It's a very serious conversation. To me, something with this, with revelry and singing and dancing and stuff might be a little bit more appropriate to something like that. I don't know. Either way, regardless, this guy here says that he did not intend to shock or upset anyone. This was not aimed at mockery. Basically, he's saying stuff like, you know, in, in France, you can love who you want, be in any sort of relationship you want. He was just trying to express that and be open to everyone. This is directly from the creator's mouth. And before that, in this same video, you have um, this lady here who's basically apologizing if anyone was offended. They took the video down, all that stuff. So it seems to me it was like an attempt to be inclusive. This is a Olympics ceremony last supper, uh, supper sketch. Never meant to disrespect, says Paris 2024. And this is from ABC CBN News. So again, I'll post this down below so you can actually listen and hear the whole video out. One more thing, and then I'm going to give my opinion on the whole opening ceremony. Everyone's so sure that a runway with drag queens outside is the same thing as Jesus sitting at a table with his 12 apostles versus 17, 18, if you're counting the middle person, S 17 drag queens around a runway dancing and singing outside is the same thing as the Last Supper. I, I, I don't see it. I think that's a stretch. I think that's about making it about yourself. If it was an actual mockery and intended to be a mockery of Christianity, that alone for shame. No, do not pick on people for the religions. So many people believe in Christianity. It has made a lot of people good people. And again, I know that's not a common theme among individuals who are not Christians, especially today, but I will defend Christians right to practice as long as they're not shoving it down people's throats. That's my big thing. Leave people alone. Let people be who they want to be. Respect people for being who they want. Let's talk about the actual ceremony itself. I don't personally consider what little bit I saw of it to be entertainment. That's not something I would choose to go to and watch. With that being said, if you're an adult who likes that kind of stuff and that's entertainment for you, there, I don't see a problem with that. That's But it's adult entertainment. Drag queens, especially ones exposing parts and stuff, that's for adults. I don't think children should be around that. I don't think that should be on public TV, and I don't think it belongs in the Olympics. Especially, again, with a guy with his parts, his biological parts hanging out of his outfit next to children. I personally view that as wrong. Leave the kids alone. Leave the children alone. I That's a hill I will die on. Leave kids alone. No. Keep it to where you want to enjoy that type of entertainment. To me, that doesn't belong on the TV or in front of the Olympics personally. So again, that's probably at the beginning of the video, it might have sounded like I was defending that opening ceremony. I wasn't defending the opening ceremony. I'm countering the point that people are so insistent that that was supposed to mock the Last Supper versus just a whole bunch of drag queens 
dancing on a runway, dancing and singing and whatnot. That's my two cents. That's my whole thought on this opening ceremony. My impressions of it. Uh, I, I think, again, I think the media is blowing out of proportion. I think people are twisting it. I think we should listen to the people who created it and what their inspirations was, not make assumptions and make accusations when, to me, I think that's a pretty far stretch to compare that painting to a, a dance sequence on a runway. I, I just, I feel like you're really stretching here. And I do know, I realize that there is a lot of attacks against Christianity and it seems to be acceptable for people to do that. And that I do not condone. I do not think it is acceptable to target or mock Christianity or any religion for that matter. Treat people with respect. Make up your own mind. Really analyze when people are bringing this stuff up because again, seeing this common theme other th if other people would not have said it and made the claim, I probably would not have seen that and thought Last Supper instantly from seeing those drag queens dressed up like that. I would not have instantly thought that. Thanks for listening. That's my two cents. I'm going to wrap this up. There's nothing really more to say about it. Feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comments. Just be civil. It is possible to share your opinion without attacking people. I Honestly, it is possible. You can do that. You can defend your point of view without being a complete jerk. So anyway, best of luck with that. Catch you in the next one.